So this is the garden, and this is how we water. There are really three parts, and one optional part, I guess, to watering. The first is to water all the plants that are up front in pots. And we do that with this watering wand. And we give it a solid watering. And we do this for all the plants that don't have automated watering. And if you water it every day, you shouldn't have to need it to give it more than, you know, just a quick inch. If it goes several days or the weather is particularly bad, you may have to water it twice in order to get the water fully in. And you're going to do all of these plants. The, these are the fig trees, some of these strawberries, uh, the decorative plants, here we've got herbs that need to be taken care of. A little tree. And all the way over here to the left where we've got the spinach in the pots. And you can control the velocity of the wand by turning the up and down so you can have it go slower or faster. An additional step to watering, which doesn't necessarily have to happen every time, but maybe every other time, is you should fill this water pot using the wand. And then once it's full, we take this over and we water two little trees that I have over to the side. First tree here. One tree and that should get about half a canister of water. And then the second tree, which is right here. And the reason to water those is they are uh, root bound in pots, so they're stuck with whatever water's inside. These other trees, they're able to take water from the ground and they should be okay, unless you know there's an extreme drought. The second step in watering is to turn on these uh, bubblers, and we've got two, uh, two regions of bubblers, one going through these pots, and the other going through the other pots, and I'll show you how to turn those on. And they both have to be turned on at the same time and let to run for between 10 and 15 minutes. So here's the control valve, which goes that way. We turn that to on. And you'll see, when I do this, it's going to turn the bubbler on, but it's going to be too strong. See, they're, they're sprinkling off, off the edges, which is why we have to run both bubblers at the same time. So there's one set there. The other set of bubblers control the plants in these pots, and you can see the bubblers there. And we turn that on behind the house. the second knob to the left. And we turn that on. And once that's on, you'll hear the water and you'll see the bubbler running. And you can see that these are appropriate in size and going back to the front of the house, You'll see that running both bubblers at the same time turns down the pressure. So now these bubblers are also running at an appropriate level. So you'll let these run for 10 to 15 minutes depending on you know, the weather and the dryness. And it's, it's something that, uh, you know, watering every day, you can usually get by with 10 minutes, maybe even less depending on, on the heat. Uh, if there's an extreme drought or uh, you let it go two, three days, then you'll have to let it sit for, for significantly longer. So it's, it's better just to have a, a little bit of water every day. So this is the second step in watering. And after the time you go back and you turn these off, just by 
reversing the process. Turning the crank and as when I turned off that, these are now too powerful. So we turn off this. There we go. And that is the second step in watering the garden. The third and final step in watering the garden is to turn on these, uh, these misters. And we have two rows of those. And they're turned on behind the house. And again, both should be turned on at the same time. There are the two rightmost. And you can see those turn on like this. And you miss the garden. And again, this should take 10 to 15 minutes, really depending on the really depending on the uh, the weather and the, the dryness of the soil. So let this run for 15 minutes a day and uh, when the time's up and you'll be able to tell because the uh, these little whoops, these little corner pots are are, 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 uh, are moist then go back and turn them off here. That will be the final step in watering the garden. Uh, overall watering the garden, it takes about half an hour a day, uh, but you can uh, change that again depending on, on the, uh, the weather. So some days it's gonna be hotter and drier and you need longer and other days not so much.